Hello YouTube. It is me, Alex from er from Cranium Gaming, and today I'll be showing you my semi-automatic wheat harvester. So let's get started. Um, so let's head over here, and as you can see, this wood farm is my first wheat harvester I made. I am playing in survival mode, but you don't have to. So let me just show you a little demonstration right here. Um, basically, uh, it is made up of the system is made up of an inverter and a T flip flop, two pistons and water. And as for the farm part, it's just normal farm with water underneath that dirt. It does grow, and I'll show you later in the video. Um, yeah, so let me give you a quick demonstration. I press the button once, it releases all the water, and sometimes wheat can get out, but if you put fence there or something, it won't. And the half slabs are almost necessary because it's just way easier. So, let's get started. First of all, this will be in two parts. The redstone part and the farm part. After you're done with the farm, you could, uh, well, when you're doing the farm, you can pause the video. And after you're done with the farm, you can unpause it. But let's get started. So the farm is made up of a rectangle, two pistons, a bucket of water, and even more buckets of water, half slabs, and dirt. You will also need to make an inverter with redstone. To start off, you need to make a rectangle, and its length needs to be greater than its width or else it won't work. And second, you need to put dirt into that rectangle and put water under. Um, it's fairly easy putting water, water under there. And yeah, so let me just replace this stone. And yeah, feel free to pause the video and I'm and I'm pausing. I recommend using a gate for the entrance. And as you can see here, I am showing you the pistons and how they hold in the water. It is more efficient this way, so yeah. You can make this how big as you want. I just made a quick little one. And yeah. So you want to make an inverter using a block, piece of a redstone torch, and put a piece of redstone on the other side, hook it up to the pistons, and then put the bucket of water there. So after you made this, unpause the video or something, I'll talk about the T flip flop. I haven't, um, I got this T flip flop from my friend Epic Skittles. You should check out his video and his channel. You should also subscribe to him because he has cool videos. So, yeah. Now to, now to Epic Skittles' is flip flop, T flip flop. It is activated with a button. And, yeah. So when you press it once, it activates it. And when you press it again, it deactivates it. It's pretty simple. And, let me show you how to make it. Start off. Let me just reset this really quick. I'm sorry. This is. Yeah. So, you need redstone. Redstone torches, redstone repeaters, two sticky pistons, and preferably stone. I, I like using stone, you can use whatever you want. So to start off, you need to place it 
redstone torch there, a redstone repeater there, and a sticky piece of under. Now, to start off, you need to make a little T shape, except no middle of it, and then you need to put this sticky piece in right here. A piece a redstone torch right there. And redstone leading out. Now I put a repeater here so it leads directly into the block and turns off the torch. And as you can see here, I messed up. I forgot to put a piece of redstone under the first block. Right here, I'm just resetting the wheat. But as you can see, the wheat really does grow. If you didn't believe me before, I like using this watering design in my survival world. I haven't done the auto automatic harvester yet in my survival world, but I will do that. Um, as you can see here, I try pressing the button and nothing happens because I forgot a piece of redstone. So the piece of redstone needs to go right there. Now it should work. And once you press the button, harvest all the wheat, takes it into that little hole, and you're set. If you press the button again, it'll close off the water, still so conserve it and you have your wheat. In this design, I forgot how much wheat it produces, but it produces enough. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Right here I'm showing how you can make a beer. Basically, you can just put you could just put uh, water, pis the pistons on both sides with water, and make it bigger. But yeah, that design works too. So thanks for watching. Please uh, give me feedback. Be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to check out Epic Skittles' video. Thanks, guys, again for watching, and.